Cool. That's so cool. Um, I'll get Cuba to move it a little bit. How is everybody? This is line number it? two. You need to move a little. This is lolly number two in our teacher appreciation mix. Uh, this is apple pie, so we're going to make little lollies. Uh, they're going to have a picture of an apple in the middle, and in the middle of the apple is going to be the symbol pi, one of the most important symbols. Uh, it is a number, but it's it's a number 3.1415926 2207. Uh, that represents the ratio of the diameter or radius of a circle to the circumference in the area. So we're going to do apple pie. It's apple pie flavored. This is Jesse. Hey, guys. All smart. All, all, all so you learned something already today, Jesse. <laughs> uh, we got Cooper. Super Cooper's on the voices over there. Waiting. 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 So go, green. One third. One third. One third. Yep. It's apple green. pie, baby. Yeah, as sweet as apple pie. Francis says, hello Dave, hello from Garland, thank you, hi Dave from Texas, hi guys, hi Say from hi. hello. Mama Shell says, yeah, the outlaw. <laughs> Jesse, oh, happy to be here this morning. Not uh, much, Lauren, how are you? This is such a great idea. We were going to just do apple because apples are such a teacher thing. But then apple pie and then pie is such a wonderful concept or understanding. Geometry. So apple pie, uh, cinnamon, apple, and a little bit of vanilla. Mostly apple, Tastes but the delicious. cinnamon man, I can smell the cinnamon. It's amazing. Uh, to all the teachers, if you're a teacher, um, hats off to you for managing to operate in this environment. Maybe Texas little... wants to know if we do a margarita. We do a mango margarita actually in our cocktail mix. Not a straight margarita, but Mango enhanced margarita. I'm from Pennsylvania. So I'm from we're Cactus. Not gonna, we're not going to switch it. Okay. I know what we're going to do. I know how we're going to do this. It's just more going to uh, Lauren, we have made an apple pie in the past. Some pie symbol and sort of That's a little right tiny around. bit of cinnamon, we're a bit of vanilla, and heaps of apple. Symbol. A little bit of red on either side. Red and red, so that you have the pie encased in an apple. Okay, yeah. And we'll do a little stalky green leafy thing for the top, and then. Yeah. So yeah, you get the gist of it an apple. Yeah, amazing. But we won't stretch the red like we usually would for an apple. Got any questions about candy? Our candy is incredibly hot. What you're watching, the bubbling that you can see, that's our water-based food colour just boiling when we add it to our 160 degree candy. Oh, sorry, guys. Jess, you could make his own design in the candy. What would it be? Ooh, I don't know. Um, Good. I feel like something complex, like a challenge. Have you guys done an opera house one? Do you think we do have an opera house. It's hard to make it look really good. We're never very happy with the opera house when we do it. Do you all make monkeys? Yeah, we've made a little monkey space before. It's usually in an animal mix. Almost always banana flavoured. I really Does like doing the monkey. The monkey's one of my favourite little animals. It's too. nice and easy. It always looks good. I've got this, this meme that continually goes through my head about monkeys with shoes, about us being monkeys with shoes. I find it really helpful. Lauren well, says we should enter the design competition. Well, yeah, if we win, we would save a lot on shipping. Sorry? Darker. I reckon get a little bit more in. Yeah, it doesn't have to be super dark, but a nice green. Uh, Joan Miller, we are using a cold surface. We're trying to cool the candy down on this table. We will transfer to a hot surface when it's about the texture of a Play-Doh or a plasticine or moulding clay. But yes, Joan, this one is actually a cold table. You are on the money. I reckon you got really good at the voices, Coop. He doesn't like doing it, but he's got really good at it. Well, you just got to answer the candy questions and ignore everything else. Yeah, ignore every, every other rubbish <laughs> point. Uh, that looks good, Jess. Uh, what would you do as a design to describe yourself, Dave? To describe myself? How do you do overly opinionated in candy? Make a Donald. <laughs> <laughs> overly opinionated, I don't know. What's your least favorite design to do? Every time I try to do the kangaroo. I really actually don't like the opera house now that we're talking about it. It looks so simple and it never turns out quite right. Nice, nice, nice. So we're going to cool our candy down now. You can see where it's been on the table. It's kind of crusty. You can hear it. 
but so I'm going to give you one a little bit more red than we might usually have for the apple. If you make a chuck filled banana, not yet. Pushing for it. We're trying to add maybe one different one each time we do a chocolate restock. We'll definitely keep chocolate banana on the list. I think it sounds great. I love the banana lollies. Orange, orange is the I next orange one. I think orange next. Yeah, Jaffa. Uh, the orange butter, the, the chalk butter scrubs. Was that was too good though. I felt so sick after we made that. I had way too much of it. Patty says Dave Lard is doing bigger too. Yep, thank you. I was waiting for someone to start talking about Pikachu. Look, besides the eyes, he actually looks great. I was actually not about Pikachu except for the eyes. And I think, you know, eyes are overrated. We need to remember that there are people out there who are visually challenged, but they deserve recognition as well. And to be fair, that pretty much the worst mistake anyone's made all week, compared to myself. At least Pikachu's only a half hour lolly. Like, yeah. Not like an hour and 15 minute lolly. <laughs> not, not a happy birthday. That sucks so hard. Birthday happy. So upset. Uh, so I mean, hello nice. from Brazil. G'day Brazil. So maybe instead of stretching the red, we might do a little bit of white. What if Stink Lizard, we do not currently have a chopped cherry without the coconut. Someone's name is Stink Lizard. Someone's name is Stink Lizard. How good. Nice to meet you, Stink oh, Lizard. To you, yeah, you get handles. Some people have real names. Nice to meet Stink. Other people like Beth Smith from the Blue Mountains. We might have really a little table names. going there, Jess. Yeah. Jesse's just going to turn. This is a cooling table, but it's more than just a stainless surface. It's actually hollow inside here. Uh, and we're ran, we just turned it on. We're going to run some water through there. And it'll act like a heat sink. It'll suck the temperature out of the candy really quickly. Oh, Holly Oaks from Melbourne. Hey, Holly. Uh, thank you. Teacher Appreciation Day here. Partly thanks to you, Holly. Uh, this one, if you've just joined us, we're making apple pie. So they're going to be green lollies with a red apple in the centre. And in the centre of the apple is going to be uh, the symbol for pie. If you don't know a lot about pie, that's okay. But it's a great thing to learn about. I remember they did like one of the universe's pie game in my high school and they kicked up to like a hundred numbers. Oh really? Yeah, I'm like, how do you remember that? I think uh, I go to about seven or eight and then that's, that's it. Cheryl Dickerson would like to know, when making cinnamon candy, does the boiling part put off hot fumes? Uh, cinnamon is quite strong, it's not as bad as something like the peppermint. Oh, hey, hey buddy. The right. peppermint's really strong. Cinnamon's definitely strong, but... Oh. Sorry? I can't, you just have to speak up a little bit. Oh, you cleaned it, did you? Oh, getting in there. Good man. Mm. Have a good one, Brad. Take care. Thanks, mate. Is that slime? It's kind of like slime. It's really delicious apple pie flavoured candy slime at the moment. <laughs> the bloke we were just talking to is one of the cleaners in the centre. And can I just... But this whole new appreciation for who's actually important and essential in this economy we live in. Uh, the cleaners, the teachers, the supermarkets, shelf stockers, the bus drivers. The whoever makes toilet paper. Whoever <laughs> made the toilet paper to the people at Holy Trap. The Great Australian yeah. um, Toilet Paper Wall of Home. What a time to live. Well, we lost the easy, so I wouldn't put us past losing the toilet paper. So that's going to be our This is going to be our white. We're going to do a little white pie symbol. Should we split this stretch, Jess? Yeah. I haven't modelled a jacket in a while, so oh, I brought my nice. own for everyone to have a look at. It's very Spanish. Yeah. You look like a bullfighter. A flamenco dancer. Flamenco, flamenco, bull dancing, bull fighting dancer. Okay. Take a drink, sticky people, blow up. <laughs> you have to drink when you go wear the jacket. Yeah, you want to show a jacket? Here you go, you're going to have a drink. Can I have a drink? Is it too early? Yes. Yeah, too early. Oh, Someone would like to know what is this stuff, David? As, as, I'm on stretching, as right? I throw you down the thing to watch Dave stretch from a better angle. This is actually all apple pie flavoured hard candy, this stuff. It looks soft at the moment, that's just to throw you guys off a little. 
little bit further down so you can see more of everything. Look, look at Jesse's giant mug in there. Close up of Jesse's chin for everyone. How good. There you go, you got to hit your table going on. Can you see? Yep. Stretching. Yeah, Dave, Dave doesn't like to do big stretches on the hook. I can't do big stretches on the hook. So it's all old and he's got nothing to prove anymore. Box. You can't talk him into it like you can talk young Nick into doing giant stretches by himself. Nice, one of the nicest things about turning, smart for that. turning 50, getting a bit older, is you don't have anything to prove anymore. No ego about it. He's just got to be the fastest cutter, that's all. Just come this way a little bit, Cooper. Just because we're going to look at the side. Just a tiny bit, turn out the other way. Yeah, there you go, Cody. Yeah, Dave needs more of him. Oh, apple. Uh, we're going to start what are the rules for the drinking game? Five. That's a really good question, Tammy. I have absolutely no idea. What um, are the rules for the drinking game? It changes. It changes all the time. Uh, generally, there's a whole lot of things that seem to happen all the time. Why aren't you wearing masks? Uh, Lily wears a jacket. Someone asked about Nick's shorts. I say reckon. There's quite a few. Lots of reasons to have a drink. They're yeah, the big ones. Um, how long are you on making candy? How are you today? I'm oh, not too bad, you know, all things considered. It's crazy times in which we live. How are you too, buddy? You good? We're making apple pie today. So it's apple pie flavoured candy and we're going to do a little picture of an apple in the middle but with the symbol for pie. Part of our teacher appreciation. Thank you for the work you do, teachers around the world. Thank you. It means I don't have to like homeschool my own children. Thank God for that. Uh, yes, yes, a little bit. Uh, it is. The table is actually really quite hot. Alright, so pie, 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 pie. We're going to go there, and then we're going to go there. I'm going to go to this side. Yes. It's all apple flavoured. Apparently disconcerting is on the new bingo board. Discons don't get disconcerted. Uh, thanks to Paddy Alexander Galloy, who invented the sticky drinking game. So, the place that we made our white red so apple. So, there's not a lot to do at the moment. If you could pull me a couple of bits of red that are exactly, I need three bits that are exactly like this. I've got that. Jesse, Jesse's still learning how to make candy. He's already proven himself to be quite a good candy maker. Oh yeah, have like two months uh, in now. Cindy Lewis would like to know where you learned your skills, David. I make candy, so uh, I make candy, so uh, like, I can't You're in like, Australia, but it was a Danish man. A lot of what we do is traditionally quite uh, Northern European. Um, so, sorry buddy. Uh, there should be a black, that one. You've got yep. it right in your hand, man, the humbugs. We actually use a natural aniseed oil for those. They are awesome. They're really quite good. Me too, man. So how'd you go? Nice. No, no. I think I'll be alright. How do you get a sticky bingo board? I think it's just a photo on the sticky friends group, actually. Sticky friends group. It gets posted every so often. No, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to pin it or something. Okay, nice. So Paddy Gloyd says she will post a new board for the first live tomorrow. Are you here, are you, Paddy? No, no, just gonna post a new board on the group tomorrow. Well, someone's, uh, are you streaming today? We are streaming this, mate. It's the only reason we're not completely bankrupt already. If you look at all these closed shops and what's going on in the rocks. Yeah. They're great, Jess. Yeah, Perfect. Kate and I would like to know, how do you figure out how to make the pictures in the candy? It's been trying to figure it out for a couple of weeks. We make it up as we go along. This is something we've never done before. We do wing it quite a lot. Um, trial and error. Trial and error. Often we'll have a, uh, a visual aid to work with. I believe they're building the symbol for pie at the moment. To go in the middle of the apple for apple pie. Because they're clever. Where is the next live video, Shannon? That will be on Instagram at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock Sydney time. 
So that's it's a little bit simplified. It's not the perfect pie, but they're going to be so small. I don't think it's going to matter. So essentially, it's yeah. essentially that pie. You just remember the number 3.1415926. Oh, that's why you simplify it. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got this. What we might do? We might pull this a bit longer. Alright, so, uh, it's, so... It's an amazing substance to work with. So, give that a little bit of a call. Don't, don't want to call it too much. Oh, good. Have oh, a great day. It's really nice to see human beings, can I say. Thanks for coming in and your support. You'll get, you, would, you will get to try one if you want to hang around for a little bit. Uh, yeah, sure. Do you want to try this one shouldn't take us a huge amount of time. So, he's making so fine wine. Yes, you're going to take just to confuse everyone because no one's used to seeing why make that. the actual symbol of that up. And you're going to make like a foundation for either side of the pine, so there and there. Okay, yep. And I'll give you another one. Make the other one. So this to be one foundation. Yep. yep. So you're just going to pull it out, roll it, however you want to get it out to the right size. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be coffee and candy tomorrow? I have no idea. To be honest with you. Or is that coffee? Yeah. Uh, I missed the coffee. You'll be in the restock. No, personally, I don't think. No. Maybe if there's some in the restock, I'm not sure what's out the back at the moment. So there was some in the restock. There may be some more in the restock tomorrow. Right, so I promise nothing. Have I gone? Mine's a little bit smaller than yours, is it? Let me just put these down. There you go. Big Boss Rach says there's only 25 bags of coffee available tomorrow, so you better be on the okay. line. So once we got these, uh, make them square. And that's going to go there. That's going to go on the other side. The symbol yep. is wrong. The symbol's wrong. A little flick there and a little flick on the top. Is that why it's wrong? I think they think you're making it out of the red still. No, the symbol, we're making the apple out of red. I'm using, we've gone the reverse the way we usually would, so we're doing white letters. Any chalk filled for tomorrow? Uh, we haven't got it on the list. So, one of the things we're going to have to uh, be aware of now is it will have an up and down. It will be a correct way up and a wrong way up. Yep. Okay, so this way is currently the right way up. Yeah. Yep. So when, I stick, when we stick this on... What you can do, Jesse, is pull a little bit of the green off and have it wrapped just around this edge there, so you can see what's at the top. And just slip on. So maybe, maybe stick, stick right there. Perfect. Then we're going to take this. So we want this to be round, and we're going to give it a bit of a call so it is round. Yep. Uh, so give it a little bit of a call. We're going to come over here. We're going to put a little bit of a dent in the bottom, like yes, an apple. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you don't want to get it too cool, but we do want to call a little bit before we do that. Um, and just make sure these lines stay straight. We don't want it to... Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Right. And Bates says hi from Sweden. G'day, Sweden. Is this the apple? Yeah, Sam Hoke said this is an apple, apple pie. Apple pie, baby. Apple it's pie. It's been kind of cheeky here and built a little symbol for pie in the middle. It's apple pie flavoured rather than apple flavoured, which is cool. I haven't made apple pie flavour in ages and ages and ages. No. I don't think we got it quite right last time. Hopefully this one is awesome. Okay, Jess, so I'm going to bring that back. So the bottom is that. Yeah. Yep. The bottom is the bottom of our apple. Oh, and then make it into the show. Free that. Okay. So we're going to roll that. Now we can actually get that quite round. Okay, I'm just really quickly going to make a leaf and a stalk. So, 
Hello, Christian says, G'day, guys. G'day. Uh, thanks for joining us. I don't know if this is the first time or you've been here before, but thank you for coming and for watching. So that's going to be the little store. And we're going to put a little leaf. Did I see a bird in the background? Quite possibly Christina. The pigeons here are so brave. They are. They just are not phased by humans. Sky rats. have a design that doesn't turn out like you want it to. Yeah, quite often at the moment. It's <laughs> yeah, tell them about that one, Peter. Yeah, the old, the old birthday <laughs> actually you make like a Pokemon and, and you throw the eyes in the floor. Or well, Dave makes like the best looking happy birthday letters and the best colours you've seen in ages and you put them on the wrong way, like some kind of... There is, there is a very special edition maker. of the current happy birthday mix. You might find the odd lolly in there that says birthday happy. Up. First one to post a photo of the birthday happy lolly and Steve friends, you'll win some fake internet points. Yeah, Nick's pair. What's this bird? What's this bird on Sticky Friends? Does anyone know about a bird post on Sticky Friends? Oh, there are a lot of chicken posts. What's going on with the chickens? Oh, oh good. No idea, Lauren. Hey, you guys have a great day, hey? So bam, 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 bam. Yeah, Patty, it's heaps easier to keep up with comments on YouTube and Instagram than it is on Facebook. It's because there's less people. It's more intimate. Yeah, how annoying is it when your phone rings during a live stream? My phone ring? No, <laughs> just in general. Karen was saying people keep calling her. Dave's phone rings every now and then, which is persistent. No, it's not disturbed. Not disturbed. So it's, it's only when people ring. Okay, so that's that. People ring them repeatedly. Okay. The be so afraid of magpies. You want to give me that? No idea. Yep. What I got you to do, we're going to make that into a wrap. Magpies, magpies. It must be swooping season for magpies. It is spring, it is swooping season. Bit of a shout out to the magpie. What a bird. One of the most beautiful calls, along with the kookaburra, the magpie and the kookaburra. Love the kookaburra. The kookaburra is amazing, but that magpie one, that... Mm. So beautiful. Uh, yeah, Jessica Harrington, just a little bit of water on those sponges. Helps the candy stick together really quickly. Which is convenient for us, because we don't like to work that slow. Oh, you know, that slow all the time. Sometimes it's nice. Did we ever hear from the Tiger King? Not to my knowledge, Crystal. No. I, well, I have been chatting with a friend of Carol Baskin's, though. The debate rages on. Worth remembering, though, that although that was a car crash, they are real people. Love the Kookaburra song. You should check out the Ibis song. Oh, Interesting sure. bit of kookaburra song trivia. Uh, Men at Work wrote an amazing song called uh, Land Down Under, and they were sued because part of that song steals part of the kookaburra song, and they were sued successfully and tragically. All right, not sure. Open that tip, man. So I'll just get you to roll this for one sec, because what we're going to do, I'm going to stick my leaf in here like this. Yep. Cassie, that's me that you can't comment on your phone on YouTube videos. I'm doing it right now. Interesting, but maybe you got to update your YouTube or something like that. We'll do it with the YouTube app. So I'm going to stick this in. For the design competition, do we choose the flavour or just the design? Both. Everything. Both. Within reason, because there's some flavours we don't have. Sit like that for one second. We got our apple. We're going to put that top down on our leaf. I don't know if my leaf's going to go anywhere. Let's see how we go with that. 
Sarah Lee, save them for the cop. Get them to see your friends, post your ideas. You don't want to give away anything. Someone will steal your idea and you won't win the candy. Uh, 20 bags of candy sent anywhere in the world at our expense. 10 bags of your design. 10 bags of our favourite lollies. Uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do, if nothing else. We're not looking for artistic skill, but imagination. What would be an awesome lolly? What would be a fantastic addition to our range? How many entries can you make? Just a, a, just a, a, a little hint, don't make it too complicated. How many times you can you enter? You have to convince a candy maker that it's something they want to make. Yeah. How many times can you enter? It depends on how many designs you got, I guess, Lauren. I didn't put a limit on it. I guess there's no limit. You just enter like a thousand times and you're bound to win. <laughs> well, you need like a good mix of best. designs. If you've got a thousand different designs that you reckon you can chuck together for it. Just to repeat, it's not a lottery. Um, so the more you enter, you're not more likely to win. The, one, the best one's the one that's going to win. How many pounds when do I we go through in a day? Maybe 130 odd pounds, I guess. Pounds, I don't know what a pound is. 60 About kilos 60 a day. Kilos. 2.2 pounds per kilo, 60 kilos, what's that, 140? Double, 135. Something like that. 135, 140. Something like that. G'day, so Kansas. excited, I got my order today. I love it when people say they got their order. I'm always worried with the way the world's going at the moment, how postal services around the world are coping. How's the height? I think you're almost perfect there, Jess. Maybe. Tiny, tiny bit taller. taller. Sour tangerine, that would be great. We're doing a tangerine flavour. You need to be a bit taller, Jesse. It's fine, I'm the shortest out of my friend. What? Yeah. I used to be tall in high school, am I taller than most? I got one man. Uh, I believe we will be voting now. Well. I've been growing, I've stopped, and it's like annoying the hell out of it. Where did you. You're like an inner west boy, aren't you? Yeah. You guys can be tall. How do they enter, Dave? Maybe it's just that I'm really short. Hey, how do, how do you come? enter? You got to join the Sticky Friends Facebook group. There's an announcement at the top of the group, um, and you post your entry under there. That way, they're all collected in the same place. Uh, I think ooh, there's a few. There's a few in there already. It's gonna, not going to be an easy choice. Kind of not looking. You've got till next Wednesday. Don't you? Don't have to rush. You got till next Wednesday. That's it, that's perfect. So, a little bit of water and we're, and we're there. Yep, well, actually, yeah, maybe, maybe just a little yeah. bit. How often are we doing the design contests? Uh, we don't really know yet. We've done it once we before. Inspired. Done it once before, doing it this time. Uh, Cassie the monkey is usually banana flavour. Can't promise it is banana flavoured in the batch you've got, but normally when we make the monkey, it's banana. It just makes sense. So, apple pie. Apple pie, man. 12, 13, 13 and a bit kilos. Do the guys say today? No, friends. Uh, Lil just made the last candy with Dave. Nick. Lily and I, uh, before this, we made one that said Teachers Rock on Facebook. Uh, we're making the apple pie. I don't know if you can see. Look at that. Do you want to see it? A little bit? Uh, Kate Battle, single prize, only a first place, everyone else is a loser. Only one? In the end, there can be only one. If you're not first, you're last, so... Really, second place first is like saying the that you're the, the, like the, the best at losing, yeah. You're the champion loser. You're not even good at losing, that's what second place is. If you're going to lose, you might as well lose by a lot. And have a sandwich and a beer on the way. Your first place in the end. Yeah. All right. Do you have buttered popcorn flavour? No, we don't. No, oh, that's what buttered popcorn's for. In the fruit mix, what flavour are the purple coloured cherries? Crazy, crazy, crazy thing. They're actually cherry flavour. To the, to the sticky weirdo who um who posted a picture of clamato juice, clamat, clamato, clamato juice. Awesome. What is that? It's 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 this cold beverage. It's in a can, yeah. and it's like it looks like it's icy cold, and it's a combination of clam and tomato juice. <laughs> what is clam juice? Clam juice. I don't know. Oh, like, do they, clam juice. Are they are good. they cold pressed clams or do they? That's how really, do you get the clam juice? That's really disgusting, actually. Do people drink that? That's good. 
Is that normal? All right, so in just a minute, we're going to uh, cut, cut this up and you can see whether we've done all right with our pie, apple pie. We mix Bear it with us a little bit. Clamato mix, juice, clamatoes. They man. mix it with beers in the US. That is disgusting. Clams. Clamato juice. It's mixed I with beers. I'm feeling the crazy just thing. Yeah. Well. I gotta go home, I think. That's disgusting. One day, historians will look back on our society and our civilization, and, uh, and they'll pinpoint the moment it all went wrong. And it will be the by first the day they launched tomato, tomato juice. juice. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you mix that with your beers. How about your beers that you're mixing it with clam and tomato to make it drinkable? <laughs> that is filthy. Yeah, I thought Corona that you had to put a lemon in was bad. Yeah. yeah. Imagine uh, your Budweiser with clam and tomato. <laughs> Yuck. Are your core is light? Get a chorus. My light beer. I had some great beers in America. America's got a reputation for craft beer, but they've got some great beers. Uh, Cara S, I have no idea what flavors the brave, kind, and clever are. I don't think anyone remembers what we did those. Do, do, do. Apple pie, man. Uh, Tasha Pearl, the cocktail mix won the first design comp. It was initially just three, we've bulked it up since then, but yeah, the cocktail mix was the first winner. One of our very early friends, Kylie Abel, designed Pina Colada, Fruit Single, and Sunrise. And they were so good, it was such a great, such a great idea. What was the first candy you ever made, Dave? Do you remember? Uh, strawberry. There you go, strawberry. I'm going to pull you a big one. Yep. Now, let's check that out, bro. Oh. Okay. How many designs per bag? It really depends on the bag you order. So you've done this before, Jesse, a big one. We can pull a big one down as well. So you can actually see what it is that I've done. Uh, just a reminder, if you have just joined us, this weekend for us here at Sticky is uh, Teacher Appreciation Weekend. We're making a mix with it says Teachers Rock. This one has apple pie in the middle. That is a picture of an apple with the symbol for pie in the middle of the apple. Apple pie, apple pie flavoured. Get it? Get it? And uh, we're going to do thank you. And then we're going to do one more. We're still debating what to do exactly. A way to say thank you to the people who uh, are unlucky enough to look after your children. Um, is Australian beer similar to USA beer? Yeah, similar but better. And then it's the same way I feel about German beer to Australian beer. Similar We've got terrible we got terrible beers. Uh, We've got great beers. And it's, it's the same as Bayern and things like that. Though. It's not good. The one thing you can know for sure is we don't drink Fosters. Yeah, no one drinks Fosters. That is poison. you got to drink German beers. That's where the money is. How long are you making candies? Nine to five? Five days a week? I quite like Japanese beers. Japanese beers aren't bad. Asahi. Asahi's are good. Sapporo. They always seem to do crisp. Like crisp. Alright, are we ready? Do you get Kingfisher beer in Oz? I've never heard of it. Maybe. Kingfisher? That's a... Is that Thailand? Where's Kingfisher from? Yeah, maybe, maybe Thailand? Thailand. I think Tiger beer is Thailand. Tiger, Tiger, beer. Tiger goes alright. Maybe that was a mess. Apparently New Zealand beer is the best. Alright, one more and then we might cut some up and see. Uh, we get our flavor from a company called Aphis. I forget what it stands for, but they supply us with everything. Colours as well. The lovely people at Australian Food Ingredients Supplies. Uh, there you go. They work with us when we've got a request, a special request, they're often great. Uh, Dave pinches the other end of the candy to minimise offcut. If you trap the whole design by applying a bit of pressure, you tend to not lose it as early. I'm quite pleased with this. I'll take it in Singapore, my bad. Yeah, you're right. It says that on the bottle, doesn't it? Do you want to cut one up, Jesse? We might. Um, Cooper's going to move you, so don't get disconcerted. He's, he's going to move you, so Jesse's about to cut some up, and you can see what we've done. No one's even asking to be moved yet. Like staring at Dave. Look at 
to stay on there now. I might re-stick that just to be safe. Straighten up, good angle. Go ahead of that action. Now just cross my fingers if it stays there. I'll go ahead and wipe the hole with the spoon. That looks great. of the small ones and this is the design is super good best apple I've done so yeah apple pie <laughs> man apple pie that's actually that looks great that's really good apple pie everyone's wearing shorts today yeah bang on the money I'm not very sure it's a little bit of a race I like that people are finally helping move to the other side after everything they've been staring at the end of the mountain Excellent, yeah, check it out, great, it's good. Yeah. Well, we'll start Forty bags of pebbles in recycling tomorrow, everyone asks for them. Peppermint pebbles, they come so rarely. Peppermint pebbles? We have to do musk pebbles this week. Yeah. Six weeks. Oh, yeah. Six yeah. weeks. It's going fast. He hasn't. He doesn't hate us yet, but he's on the way. Oh my god! The little thing I broke him this morning. I think he's loving it. You have those days, you know. <laughs> Watch 
this before on Facebook or you just that was the first time? Oh, I think it is. What, what were we making, do you remember? Oh, the lollipops. Bloody uh, lollipops. Trooper's favourite. Love is making lollipops. It's such a well dominant flavor, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that strong in the old dough, yeah. Throw the good old cinnamon challenge. What are they? What? Cinnamon oh, no, challenge. Well, you had to test yourself if you eat a spoonful of cinnamon. No. But usually you should go dry and measure cost. Because you want to get a massive pile of cinnamon. Maybe a touch smarter than the spice pot for you. Definitely smarter than the spice pot for you. When really started all of those like challenges? Like... Yeah, I think it's for the video thing, Manchel. What is it? Uh, the square for any time I complain about lollipops. <laughs> Everyone get real drunk. Every time Cooper bitches about the lollipops. That's it. Ah, a little bit. Ooh. Pebbles. All Is there a bag of peppermint pebbles put aside for me though? A tree of pebbles. No, the tree's This is an offcut, uh, and it's generally kind of wasted candy. Not wasted, but we give it away to people. Or... But occasionally, when you get a nice one that's not too stiff before you start, well, you, you can do something nice. Hey? You're vascular, you are. Vascular? No, you're warm. Grab some wild You know what? Just like I'm just going to make a little swan because it's turned up so pretty. He's got the skills. We're going to go back here because we're going to cut it up. I'm going to turn that fan on, Coop, and I'll give if I give it a little bit of a fan. But we're, we're going to take you take you back. Thank you for joining me for just a minute. I'm going to swing this back down. Well, Jess dogs. Sorry, right. Get in your way again for a tick. Yeah. Get down here amongst Cooper's legs. Well, okay. Oi, buy me a drink first, mate. Uh, so, I'm just going to touch the tripod, not touch the phone. It's nice. But it's it kind of, they, they actually are kind of beautiful, but he's a bit soft. So, I'm just going to cool it with a fan. 
Looks great, Dave. Yeah, it does. Thank you. But maybe the first person to come into my shop and say, I've watched you on whatever it is, I'm going to give that to them. Well, is it really all right? Love how the picture's on the bum. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the apple pie. It's on. Oops, wish it was local. Pop in for that beauty. You just have to watch him because he will want to go to sleep. They always want to go to sleep for a little while until the candy hardens. Uh, if you've just joined us, we're making these. They are little apple pie candies. That is apples with the symbol pie in the centre for our teacher appreciation. The teachers actually like apples. Why do they like? Why is apples a teacher's thing? What started that? Must be some book or movie. I was going to say, I've seen it in a bunch of movies, like American movies. Poor kids who get sent to school with like fruit instead of chips. Just giving their teacher their Dave, your mood seems to have improved. Thankfully. Thankfully for the rest of it. You can't stay grumpy all day, can you? Because it's almost lunchtime, you can almost eat. It could, I could be hangry, I Yeah, you definitely get hangry, Dave. I don't get to have lunch at bang on 12 o'clock. Maybe my mistake was having cornflakes for breakfast instead of Vegemite toast. Yeah, no big like Cornflakes. Yeah, they're crumpets. I saw your picture of Vegemite crumpets, Lil. Apparently, in the 1700s, poor families in Denmark and Sweden gave teachers baskets and articles of payment for their children's education. Ah. Yeah, I've learned something today. So it's a Danish thing. Fancy that. I don't know if there's anyone from Denmark out there, but what an interesting language. It's kind of like Swedish, but if you had marbles in your mouth when you were trying to talk. And the only word I know in Danish is... What's that? It's a, it's a Danish dish. It's a thing they eat. You sound like bloody porky. Yeah, that's my point though. That's what Danish sounds like. They kind of laugh at me when I say it, but it's, it's, that's pretty good. Same like Portuguese, trying to speak Spanish with a mouthful of peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, probably a similar kind of thing. Hats off to the Danes though, because uh, they have a, a long history of candy making. Uh, the guy who taught me worked for a business in Copenhagen called, I think, Sumus. Sumus. I'm not sure if it's still there. I don't reckon you can chop any faster, but I reckon you can actually chop that more often. Talk less. go to sleep. Talk less, smile more. How are you going now, Dave? Smile more, Dave. You know, you should really smile more, Dave. Everyone knows one Danish word. Lego means play well. Lego. Is that, a, is that what it means? Play well. Lego. I am a massive Lego fan. I used to make spaceships when I was a kid. That's all I wanted to do. I kind of always took over when I played a little. Like, I can never finish one here. We'll just say, oh, let's like do it together and then just do it all. Like, all right. Oh, that's not what you mean. I never enjoy it. It's a really interesting story, the Lego story. And you know how when you play with fake Lego, it's just not. It's, yeah, it's, it's the whole never, clicking of it. It's never as good. Make a block. Make a block, let's do 
Who is watching? <laughs> Who is there? How is he running? Patty Lloyd. Hey, Patty. Jesse's yes, getting better at everything. He is, mate. Really quickly. Really quickly. Uh, you should smile more, Dave. Your smile's warm. I know. I just... It's this thing that it always seems to get said to women. Like, you know, you should really smile more. It's kind of not what anyone needs to hear when they're grumpy and in a bad mood. I'm so happy with this little lolly. Apple pie. Have you, did you eat one, Cooper? Yeah, they're not bad. The cinnamon's a little bit overpowering. A little bit heavy on the cinnamon? It didn't balance it quite right. I thought the cinnamon was a little milder. It's really about 10 mils. Uh, the ISS be visible from Mor Melbourne tomorrow night. Not from Sydney. Oh, I missed the ISS already. What an experience that was. If you ever get the opportunity to go up into space and spend some time on the space station, highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, my niece wants to be an astronaut. Mate, en encourage her in that. It's a difficult road and it's, it's highly selective, but what an experience. If I could do any other job in the world. What would you do, Jesse? What's your dream job? Dream job is if I could get paid to do art. That, that's my life goal. Painting? Um, yeah, painting, just anything, really. Um, but, no, I'd be like... High school, it's gonna become a chef. And then just seeing her down the track, I don't know Come in, if you're in Sydney, that's got your name on it. It's cooled down really nicely now, isn't it? Have you ever made a cheesecake flavour? Yeah. Yes. Only the lemon one really tastes like a cheesecake though, I don't know why. Yes, lemon cheesecake. Cola lemonade tastes just like Coca-Cola. The uh, someone got the the not minions. Apparently in Huntsville, Alabama, there's a space camp. A space camp. Space camp. And what do you do on the space camp? I don't know. Probably train for going to space. I'd say. A space camp. Kind of sounds a little bit better than the horse riding camp, although I do love horse riding. That was my thing when I was a kid. My parents would get rid of me, send me off to horse riding. My mate um, has a horse. Has a horse? Yeah. Which he rides uh, to get like basically all posts on um, social media. It's a horse. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, horse people tend to get very obsessed by their horse. It always struck me as one of those awesome partnerships between humans and animals. Just a, I'm not a massive fan of the racing industry though, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, they always just amaze me how like, sort of big they are. 
Yeah, and, and something so small, a monkey, a man, can kind of work in harmony with a horse and it doesn't try and kill you all the time. All right. That'll be end up with that one. He knows after the pick up. Can you ride a horse, mate? Yes. I, I can actually ride a horse pretty well. It's actually about the size of a jockey. I am. <laughs> Thanks, Everyone looks, everyone looks the size of a size jockey. Size of a yes, jockey, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Horse barely notices on there, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to cut this up. There are going to be heaps of big ones in this one. Oh, Alright. So, what do we got? There, there. Okay. I think top, top job, Jesse. I'm going to put my little swan right on there. Look at that. And I'm going to go like this. Apple pie. Oh, maybe so you can get the apple pie over the swan's butt like that. Oh, like that, like that. It is. It's like that's us. That's almost absolutely great. Oh, he's going to sleep a little bit. Oh, I can't move. Come on, Steve. That's it. Come with me. So just a last little look at what we've done. How do I turn? I go there. So uh, there, apple pie. Get it? Get it? Pie. Apple pie. <laughs> uh, and there's the swan. So thanks, Jesse. That's part of our teacher appreciation mix to say thank you to the teachers in your life who are forced to look after your snotty little brats and my snotty little brats. Um, thanks for joining us. Apple pie. Teachers rock. Uh, we're going to be back on Instagram. The boys are going to make thank you at 2 p.m. Sydney time. Tomorrow, if, you're looking, if you've got nothing to do around 10.30 tomorrow, we're going to be doing uh, Are You OK? And I've got someone from Are You OK? who's going to come in and talk to us about how to have those conversations with people in your life who might be in need of some help. So uh, 10.30 tomorrow, uh, it'd be great to have some people that, who've got some questions but who want to learn a little bit about uh, how to work and reach out to the people in their community. Thanks, Nick. So that's Nick and Cooper. They're going to be back making thank you in a little while for the teachers. Thanks for joining us. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye. Uh, and I keep forgetting how to close this off. I got it.